Hey guys, this is Walter from Waiting Radio. I'm here with singer-songwriter Lenita Smith. Lenita, how's it going? Good. Thank you so much for joining us on the sh on the show. <laughs> no problem, no problem, anytime. Awesome. So for our listening audience out there, uh, Lenita has a very, very unique style. Um, she does piano, she sings, she writes her own music. She's, she's on our list of most anticipated artists of 2014. Uh, I was wondering, where did you get your start in music? Um, church. Uh, started at the age five. Um, actually started singing in the choir as any young person. And I started playing around five or six because we actually lost our musician. And they kind of just threw me up there. And it was a lot of Sundays I sounded a hot mess, but then <laughs> it gradually got better to where I was able to just become a uh, ear player. And then once I got to college, I learned how to read music. So okay. over the years, it just kind of all came together. That's awesome. Um, what, what, which artists or what styles of music influence you the most? Mm, um, lyrically, uh, I'm more into people like Jill Scott. Um, I would say uh, Erica Badu. Um, of course, uh, India Ari. As far as style, um, up-to-date artists, I love Jesse J. I love Chris Brown. I love Adele. Adele. So, um, now, has your friend, uh, friends and family been pretty supportive of your decision to pursue music? Uh, most definitely. Um, they've had my back forever. Um, they've actually been waiting on me to just take the step and go ahead and go full force with it. I've just, um, I promised my mom, actually, that I would go ahead on and pursue this and, and get it done like I should have done years ago. So they're behind me 100%. That's awesome. Now, you have a single out uh, called I Love You. I was wondering what was the writing process like for that? What went into it? What were some of the emotions and thoughts that are attached to that song? Mm, uh, past, uh, I guess, feelings as far as different situations I was placed in in the past, uh, relationship status, things. Um, it's like I got into a corner and one day all of it just came at once, like this person told me this, this person said this, and it got all bottled into one. And so that's, you know, the scenario of the song. You know, it tells the story in the second verse of how this all came about. I had one person telling me, you know, this, but at the same time they were telling someone else the same thing. Ooh, that's hurting. That's a hurting feeling, trust me. Um, what's on the horizon for you? What things are you do you have in the works for the coming months? Um, the release um, of this project um, very soon. Um, my release date actually right now is set to June, uh, for June 20th and hope I may uh, because so many people are anticipating it, it may um, be moved forward uh, a tour um, in May and June. Actually, uh, plan just to see me a couple around a couple of cities near you um, and also just keep working at it you know keep writing I'm also working with a lot of other other artists um, I do a lot of writing on the side so just look for Lanita Smith somewhere okay um, what um, would you what advice would you give to somebody that uh, you know desires to get involved with music but has no earthly idea how to do so um, whether it's you know playing the drums or playing a keyboard, what, what advice would you give them? If you want to do it, go after it. Um, you know, any dream is worth going after. As long as you know you you have to stay persistent and consistent at the same time. You can't give up on it. And nothing in life comes easy. You have to work hard. But with working hard, you know it pays off in the end. But you also have to just believe that it's going to pay off. All of that plays a part into everything that you um, do. Because at one point. I was in that place where I didn't know if it was going to um, happen, but I kept believing and I kept the faith like I'm, I'm going to get done with this this hot, entire project. And look, now it's coming forth and it's, it's good. And, you know, I would suggest to anybody <laughs> to listen to it. That's awesome. Where can um, our listening audience find out more about you? Um, I have a Facebook um, Twitter, Instagram, uh, also um, for booking, um, Lanita Smith booking at gmail.com. Uh, also, you can find me on SoundCloud, that's where my single is. Um, we're planning to release the actual single on the 17th of this month on iTunes for purchase. So, 
can catch it there as well. That's awesome. We need, I'm out of questions, but I'd like to open the floor to you if there's anything else you'd like to say. I just appreciate you for having me on the show. <laughs> Thank you. It's an honor to have you on the show, actually. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, check out our website. It's www.wittenradio.com. And uh, if you're listening to this uh, on our website, you can also download this whole episode in its entirety at the iTunes Store. Um, or you can download it to your mobile, uh, mobile device, smartphone or mobile device, uh, by going to uh, stitchersmartradio.com. You download the app, you just search Witten Radio, and it'll be on there. I'm Walter, signing off.